Okie dokie. Hi guys, sorry about the uh, view. iPhone, you see, you can call him off that. Sultans of Swing solo lesson. Basically, it's going to be more accurate than what I've seen out there because um, I've listened to the record and I've tried to um, just change a few things. I've seen other, other lessons miss out, um, but it's, it's pretty similar to most of the other stuff, which is good stuff out there anyway. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's going to be a nice slow lesson and I hope you learn something new. Um, so, let's go straight into it. So, yeah, starting off on the 12th fret bend. And once you bend it up, two mini bends and then another full bend. Okay. And then you're going to hammer off, hammer on, pull off from the 10th to the 12th. And then from the 9th to the 10th, hammer off and pull off. It's all on the G string, that whole lot. Okay. And then it's an arpeggio basically, um, starting on the 12th fret of the A string. And there's two ways of playing it. And um, basically, you want to go 12th fret of the A to 11th fret of the D to the 10th fret of the G. And then across the 9th fret of the B, and then down to the 10th fret of the E, 12th fret of the E, and then bend the E up quickly, half a tone probably. Or just go 12, uh, 11, 10, stay on 10 again for the B, stay on 10 again for the E, then 12 for the E, and then bend up. So basically you're just going to miss out that. You know that B that B string on the ninth because it's a bit of a faff getting your finger across if you're sort of a beginner, but it sounds better obviously that way. And that's the proper way, but yeah. But you can just do it that way. It doesn't really matter. Either way is fine. But that's just slowly showing you which notes it is. Um, straight after that, we're going to do another arpeggio. Just bar the bottom three strings of the 10th fret and play up from the E to the G and then with your 4th, 3rd finger you want to be pressing the uh, D string of the 12th um, fretting that and then play that as well ok so that's straight after that arpeggio I'll let you guys listen to the record for timings and stuff because I can't bother to keep playing through it um, so yeah, straight after that, we're going to go for the 10th fret of the B, straight over, play that, straight over to the 13th fret of the B, and then you're going to fret the 11th of the B, and hammer on, pull off the 13th, okay, and then come up onto the 12th of the G, straight down to 10th of the B. And this is where it's different to what other people have done. Um, they've sort of done hammer offs and stuff like that, but I think it's it sounds more like the record if you play that, which is basically just rather than hammer on pull off from the um sorry, so we've gone we've gone um then to the twelfth of the G then down onto the tenth of the B, and then I just play like a muted kind of like a choppy um, eleventh fret of the B. Sort of thing. Um, I'm losing myself now. So then just chop, choppy sort of note on that um, 11th up to the G of the 12th and then just slide from 9 to 10 on the B or you can go back and forth on the 9th and 10th however you want but that, that's how I play it I don't go I just don't think it sounds right compared to the record Okie dokie, so after that we're going to do this little Knopfler style, um, sorry, bend 
sorry, it's like 11 o'clock at night, I'm knackered. Um, so I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> so yeah, bend up the um, 12th of the G, and then play the B string at the 13th. Okay. And then play that bend again, and then play the E string, and then the B string of the 13th, and then play the G string releasing the bend. And then land on that tenth of the G. But yeah, that's just slowly showing you that, basically. Um, yeah, that's quite. It's a tricky little lick, but you'll get used to it. Yeah. Um, and then after that. 12th fret of the E, slide over to the 13th fret of the E, back to the 12th, up to the 13th of the B, 12th of the G, 10th uh, of the B, and another bit I played differently to other people, back then quickly choppy to 12th of the G, and then twice on the 13th of the B. Rather than sorry. Just doesn't sound on the record it's much more like this. Or whatever, but just get that G string of the twelfth back in after mm -hmm. that tenth of the B because it just it just matches the record. You'll hear it on Sultan's of Spring Solo, it just it's just definitely there. Uh, what's next? Um, and then it's the bends, isn't it? It's the 13th fret of the B string. And you're going to bend it up. Full tone. But you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it come back down. You don't want to hear it come. You don't want to hear that. You just want to hear it. Mute it. Play it again, but let it come back down this time. 10th of the B. And then same again. But don't let any of those two come down. Okay, so it's two bends. Hold it for a little bit. Down. And then, after that nice little bit, it is um, tenth of the B, thirteenth of the E, tenth of the E, tenth of the B, tenth of the E again. Bend up, 13th of the B, 10th of the E, 10th of the B, 12th of the G, 10th of the G. Let's just do it this way around so you can see the notes. It's a little bit of a tricky bit, that bit. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably... Uh, I might be fit this little bit in. Um, actually, no, I'll do that bit in the next lesson. Because I want to get it right. Okay, so I hope that helps. It's just a little bit more accurate for what, you know, what's on the record, really. Um, I need to go to bed, to be honest. I'm knackered. But I've been asked to do it, so... Good luck, guys. Laters.